discuss the concavity of x cubed over 3 minus x. So this is a function that we've actually seen before. And uh, let's just take the first derivative because we know we're going to use it at some point. So let's do that right now. So the first derivative is, is equal to x squared minus 1. We found that by magic. No, we just did the power rule. That's an easy derivative. Okay, and now to discuss concavity, let's remember how we, how we find concavity. If the derivative is increasing, the function is concave up. So let me, let me show you an example of that. If the derivative is increasing, or sorry, the, uh, this is a, a function that's concave up, and that means that the derivative is increasing. And what does that mean? It just means mo when you move from left to right, it's, it's, it, it, it's pointing up or it's, it's getting higher, right? That's increasing. So let's not get confused about what increasing means. It's, that's the easiest concept we have. It's just as you go from left to right, you're, you're getting higher. It doesn't matter how you're getting higher as long as you're, you're getting higher. Okay. So let me erase that. And then concave down would look something like this. And that means the derivative is decreasing. So the derivative is, is getting lower. Now, it doesn't matter if the derivative is positive or negative. And, and let me show you what I mean by that. The derivative could be, you know, it could be positive and then move to negative. Or it could be, it could be that it was negative the whole time. It doesn't matter. It could be positive the whole time. It could be decreasing and, and entirely positive. As long as the derivative is moving down, that means that the derivative is decreasing and the function will be concave down. Okay? So, so that's something nice to keep in mind. Now, how are we going to tell when the first derivative is increasing or decreasing? Well, if, if it's increasing, then that means that it will have positive slope everywhere that it's increasing the first derivative itself will have positive slope. And if it's decreasing, then it will have negative slope. So we're talking about the slope of the derivative. No longer are we talking about the slope of the actual function. We're talking about the slope of the derivative. So to find the slope of the derivative, we need something called the second derivative. And it's nothing fancy, it's just the derivative of the derivative. So the derivative of x squared minus 1 of our derivative, that's pretty easy. That's just going to be equal to 2x. Now this is the slope, let me type this out actually for you. So this is the slope of of the first derivative. So I'm going to write it like this. This is the slope of f prime of x. So, so now we can use this fact, this, this, that this is the slope of f prime of x, to figure out if f prime of x is increasing or decreasing. Right? It's increasing when it has positive slope. Well, we know what the slope is. This is the slope. So all we have to do is figure out when 2x is positive and when 2x is negative. So 2x is greater than 0 is positive, or let me put it this way. When x is greater than 0, f prime of x is positive. Or sorry, f double prime of x is positive. which means f prime of x, I'm running out of room. Let me try and write these smaller. I apologize for, for backtracking. I seem to do that a lot, don't I? It's terrible. Okay, so let me actually, let me do it this way. When x is greater than 0, f double prime of x is positive which means f prime of x. If f prime of x has positive slope, then it's increasing. 
And then when x is less than 0, f prime of x is negative. And if, if the slopes of the derivative are negative, then, of course, the derivative is decreasing. So to answer the question or to discuss the concavity, all we have to say now is that the function, or let me, let me, I guess I'll, I'll write it as f of x, the original function. So f of x is concave up, or let me write it this way, is concave down from and this will be negative infinity but I can't actually type actually I'll just I'll just do it this way and f of x is up from. Okay, sorry to just be typing away and ignoring you for a minute. Um, the, 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 the function is concave down from negative infinity to zero. Oops. Negative infinity to zero. Because we said when x is less than zero, the first derivative is decreasing is decreasing which means that it's the function is concave down so it's concave down from negative infinity to zero and concave up from zero to infinity okay cool so that that's it we discussed the concavity of 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 x cubed over three minus x now I know you're dying to see a graph and do graphic analysis, or or maybe you're not, but but if you are, then then stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna stick with this function. We're gonna look at a graph and and do some more analysis. And even if you're not dying to do it, it probably will be really good for you because we'll we'll start to discuss more the relationship between the the first derivative, the function, and the second derivative. Okay, see you then.